Hello on for person, this is Anton, and it's the time of the year for me once again. The time to move my studio to another location. Mostly because the rent, once again, just like last year, has gone up dramatically. Which I guess is the world we're living in. Things are becoming completely overpriced. But that's a story for another day. And so because of this move, unfortunately, I'm going to be unable to produce new videos for the next few days. And so for the next 7 days or so, you're going to be seeing a lot of the compilations, longer videos, from a lot of the major discoveries on certain topics from basically 2021. Now I've done these before and some people really like them, some people really don't like them, and so I don't really expect much from these videos, but this is just something to keep you entertained in the meanwhile. But in this particular video, we're going to be doing something entirely different. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be removing myself from the picture completely, because we're going to be looking at something not really related to space. In other words, we're not really going to be looking at the macrocosm, we're going to be looking at the microcosm. Based on the competition known as the Small World, which has been going on pretty much every year and has been run by the camera company known as Nikon. Now, I'm not really a Nikon user, and so obviously this is not sponsored at all. As a matter of fact, this is being recorded on a Sony camera, and I'm technically a Canon user, so I have nothing to do with Nikon whatsoever. Nevertheless, this is an incredible competition with entries dating back to 1975 and absolutely incredible photos that have been taken by various scientists, various researchers, or various amateur photographers, many of which I really wanted to explore in this particular video. Mostly because some of the stuff is absolutely fascinating. And so let's take a look at some of the winners from 2021, including some of the winners for the so-called motion competition, or basically the best video of the microcosm. And let's start right here with the image by Jason Kirk from Baylor College of Medicine, who took this absolutely incredible image of what seems to be an oak leaf that shows us the trichomes and the stomata, or basically various outgrowths and various formations on the surface of an actual leaf. And this looks like something out of this world, even though technically this is just a typical tree leaf. So this right here won the first place in 2021. The second place went to Esmeralda Parich and Holy Stefan, who took this interesting picture of an actual microfluidic device containing approximately 300,000 networking neurons with what appears to be some sort of a bridge of axions forming between them, and this was created using a unique virus. So in other words, this is almost like an artificial brain formation. And to be honest, this looks really intriguing. Not entirely sure what this would be used for, but a really interesting technique and definitely a really interesting image. Third place goes to Frank Reiser for a very beautiful picture of a leg, a claw, and the respiratory system of a typical louse. And so next time you hear about lice, or if you actually know someone with lice, maybe show them this picture. The fourth place goes to Paula Dias for the picture of a sensory neuron from the embryonic rat. And I guess what makes this image particularly interesting and somewhat unusual is the fact that it really looks very different from a typical neuron we expect from, for example, a brain. And so this is definitely a very intriguing image. And then for the fifth place we have this. And this does look kind of creepy. But this is a mouth, a second part, of a typical housefly, taken by Oliver Dumb. And honestly, I'm really happy that this is too small for us to actually see. Since many of us have a lot of houseflies around the house, this would be pretty creepy if you could actually see this with your naked eye. Now, all in all, there are 103 different absolutely incredible and absolutely gorgeous pictures for you to go through. The link for this is in the description below. But I wanted to highlight some of the ones I really like myself for absolutely no particular reason, just something that stood out to me personally. For example, this picture right here by Jan van Eeken is really incredible. This is a water flea, also known as Daphnia, that seems to be carrying its offspring. And so this is almost like a picture of motherhood. Then there's this picture by Dr. Felici Placenti of what's essentially a typical cotton fabric, but it also seems to have pollen grains on the inside, this is the stuff that usually gives you allergies. And even though this is basically just your regular stuff that we all have at home, this is a perfect definition of a microcosm. When you zoom into something ordinary, you discover a completely new world. And then we have this by Alison Polak. And honestly, I absolutely love this photo. This is a picture of Acreria pomiformis, also known as slime mold. And I've already talked about slime molds on the channel several times, 
and I absolutely love this organism. So this right here is honestly one of my favorite pictures of the entire set. And then there is this beautiful picture of what's essentially a 40 million year old fly stuck inside Baltic Amber. This is a picture by Levin Biss. And honestly, this is absolutely incredible. Just the fact that this is a tiny fly stuck in time and it's been like this for 40 million years. Definitely not something we see every day. Here is another really beautiful picture of another fly mold taken by Timothy Boomer. With this one here showing a slightly different species. And what this fly mold is doing with this stock formation is essentially trying to spread itself by having something rub against it as it moves very close to it thus capturing the slime mold spores and transferring them to a different location. Here's another really cool picture by Dr. Bernardo Cesare, and this here is really really interesting. This is a section of a dinosaur bone. So basically this is something that's millions of years old again, but in this case it's bone that's turned into stone. Here's a really cool photo by Dr. Razvan Cornel Constantine showing us the profile picture of a red velvet mite. And in this case, it's really the colors that sort of make this picture so special. And then there is this, a picture by Oliver Dumb once again. This is an eye of a horsefly. And this really shows you how extremely complex these tiny formations are, with a lot of them, if you zoom in, containing even smaller formations, really, really tiny hexagons, with each of them being able to perceive light. And so this is what you would call a compound eye. Here's another amazing shot by Daniel Knopp, showing the different stages of development for a typical clownfish. This is the embryo of this particular fish. This here, taken by Martina Shetin and Dr. Fabian Voigt, is a picture of a nervous system of a seven-day-old chicken embryo, with different colors here showing different sections of the embryo itself. And this here really helps you visualize the complexity of a typical neuron system even inside a tiny chicken that's not even born yet. So you can only imagine what all of this would look like in a more complex organism. Here's a picture by Xinpei Zhang that shows us a magnified version of a typical sand from a typical desert. And this really is something that you don't really imagine when you think of sand. And so every single tiny sand grain here is somewhat different from the one next to it. But there are so many more images that I haven't mentioned or haven't showed you. As a matter of fact, as I previously mentioned, this goes back decades. So if you'd like to explore this, it's available in the description below. But there are also videos and specifically five winners for the Small World in Motion competition. And here's the first one. This is by Dr. Sachi Kanatani and Dr. Fotini Sinis. This here is an infected mosquito salivating fluorescently labeled malaria parasites. And so essentially here you can kind of see how the mosquito itself spreads the malaria parasite that then enters human body and then re-enters another mosquito to continue the cycle once again. This next video by Dr. Alexander Dumoulin is a video showing us different axons turning in an organized manner right after they cross the midline of the central nervous system, which shows you extreme organization that even tiny organs have inside our bodies. In this case, it's actually neurons being able to self-organize, creating even more complex, larger structures. Then the third place went to Andrei Savitsky for the video of the water flea. In this case, it's the water flea that's given birth to its cubs, and you can sort of see them coming out any second now. The second place went to Dr. Stephanie Heche and Dr. Christopher Hughes for the 10-day time-lapse of an engineered human microtumor. In this case, it's forming and also metastasizing, with the red part representing vessels and the blue part representing the tumor itself. But the first place went to Fabian Weston, and in this case, it's a video of what seems to be microfauna in the termite gut. Now, the microbiome or the microbes inside our guts are definitely different, but they might resemble something like this in terms of the visual appearance. There are going to be different microbes, but they're going to look very similar. And there are going to be just as many of them in our guts as well. As a matter of fact, we have more microbes by number than we have cells in our body. And this is something that I've talked about in one of the previous videos. And this is honestly one of the most incredible videos I've personally seen as well, and definitely deserves to have first place in this particular competition. Check out all of the links and all of the videos I mentioned in the description below. 
And so on that note, once I move all of my equipment and once I have my new studio, I'm going to continue making regular videos. But until then, for about a week or so, I'm going to be posting some of the older videos remade into a compilation and hopefully you enjoy them. But if not, we'll just wait one week and more videos will be coming pretty soon. On that note, stay wonderful, I'll see you in one week and as always, bye bye. Oh, and of course, my sincere congratulations to everyone who won these awards.